Uh, when you get in the neck, what do you do? And how do you get in the neck? How, how do you go after that clot? So let's say someone's got a clot, they're having that ischemic stroke, the brain's not getting enough oxygen. I make the determination, what's the easiest way to get there? Sometimes it's through the wrist, sometimes it's through the groin, but I put a very small needle, numb up that skin, and take a little catheter and I thread it in. And using an x-ray, I advance it all the way up using little wires that I can turn and catheters that have different shapes. When I look at that CTA, I decide which shape catheter I need. And I can pick the right tool to get up there into the neck. And then from there, all the way up behind the eye and up into the very large wow. distal parts of the brain to pull that clot out. So you can actually go up along. Must be very, very small. They're tiny. So we can work on vessels that are one, two millimeters in size. With the help of the x-ray, is it easy to know where you are? I guess that you can see the catheter as it's going, going up. It is today, Bob. When I started, it was not. <laughs> so, the machines now give me a 3D map, and as I move that machine around, the pictures of the vessels turn on the screen. It shows me exactly where my catheter is inside that brain. It's getting too easy. It's not too easy, I, I, but it's getting a lot easier. <laughs> so when you get to the point where, oh, here we are, here's where the obstruction is, here's where the clot is, how does that catheter remove the clot? So I have two ways to get it out. One's basically like a little vacuum. It's, when I get that little catheter up there, I hook it up to a suction, and it clot gets stuck on the end of it, and I pull it out. And it's interesting, when I start to pull, I can feel it. It's almost like when you're fishing, when you know you have something on the line. When I start to pull, I can feel it starts to vibrate. I know I've got a clot there, and I pull it out, and the clot will be sitting right there on the catheter. What does that clot feel like when you get it out and you're examining it? Sometimes it's like a jello type material, uh -huh. but sometimes it can be a hard rock. It depends on where it came from. It can come from the neck, they can come from the heart, they can come from other places in the body. Uh, when that happens, does the patient recognize what's happened? When the patient, when they pull the clot out, they typically don't know there's a change. But when I ask them something, they'll realize all of a sudden they can do something. For example, if they couldn't lift their arm, I'll say lift their arm and they'll go, oh wow, I can move my arm now. And they just realize at that moment that everything's going back to normal. Yeah. We put the little suction in there and we sucked out the clot and you can sort of feel it dislodging. Mm -hmm. well, what's the other way that you have of removing a clot? So if it's a hard rock mm -hmm. type of clot and I can't get it to come out that way, we have a little device that looks like a little basket and I take it up past the clot and then I open that basket and it catches the clot and pulls it out as I come pull the wire back. Is that a more dangerous or difficult procedure than this getting up to a suction? It's a little more difficult because it's a, a stiffer device and so it can bend the arteries a little bit and you may be more likely to have problems with that. But in all, in all, they're pretty safe procedures.